South of Matter segment tonight is the fix in for wealthy Americans. According to a study by the Associated Press, 1% of American households earn close to 20% of all the income in the USA. The average income of the one percenters, more than a million bucks a year. And here's the kicker. From 2009 to 12, the incomes of the top 1% increased by 31%, while the other 99% of the folks saw their incomes go up by less than 1%. So what the heck's going on? Here now to explain, Fox Business anchor John Stoss. What is the why behind the stats? The biggest reason is that the stock market's been going up, and when the market goes up, the rich who own more stocks get much richer. Okay, so simply put, people with money to begin with can invest the money in the stock market or bonds or whatever they want, gold, and then if they hit it, their incomes go way up, whereas the regular folks living from paycheck to paycheck, they don't have that coming in, so that's why the disparity grows. Makes right. perfect sense, right? And the Fed is printing so much that hurts the savers, so they're... Because they, they, no they get no interest. They get no interest. So this is capitalism. In capitalism, you invest in companies if you have the assets to do so, right? But you ask, is the fix in? And that's partly true, too, when we bail out the big banks and we give rich people flood insurance and corporate welfare. So in some ways, to some of it is the fix. Most of it is just a byproduct of freedom. Of capitalism. Right. I don't know if it's freedom, hey, but it's capitalism. Okay, okay so now let's but, deal with the folks working at Walmart, working as firefighters or whatever, okay? They're not going to make a lot of money in the future. I'm looking down the road now. Because the unions are weaker. A lot of people, a lot of states are right to work states. They don't even have unions anymore. And there's no money to pay um, public employees anymore. All the pl places are broke. And the big corporations are outsourcing all the manufacturing jobs overseas. So the folks have got to find a different way to make money. Well, that's true. But I think everything else you said is wrong. Uh, the, the freedom to outsource is what provides the opportunity for someone like you to go from working at Carvel to this job or for Oprah to move out of welfare to become I'm not criticizing wealthy. it. I'm just saying that if I'm going to be a working class person, I think you have to make that decision, ladies and gentlemen. But lack of a union may help you. It might help you, right. But there is no guarantee that the working class is going to have a good salary that the unions, you know, 30 years ago said, yeah, you come in here, you're going to make this much or that much in most unions, right? There never was a guarantee. Plus, I mean, what's the alternative? You keep everybody poor as they do in socialist countries. All these programs tend to keep people Well, you have dependent. to have income redistribution because but you have income work. inequality. It doesn't work. I know it doesn't work, but <laughs> the president the of the United States thinks it does, and he's doing it. Before the war on poverty began, Americans were lifting themselves out of poverty. Progress stopped five years after welfare began. I know. We make it worse with these government programs. Did you know that the uh, poverty rate is 15% now and it was the same in 1964? That's right. Hasn't Progress changed Progress stopped once we taught people right. to be dependent. But we, that doesn't matter to the, to the income redistributors. They're just going to take more and more money, throw it into this black hole, vanishes, and that's that. But the good news is the poor are doing better. As we said last week, they have all the conveniences. Uh, you know, they are not doing, doing as well as the rich, but right. the poor. So you don't think that we should have any fundamental revolution in the economy here? Yeah, I think we should get rid of most of government and allow poor people to become rich. <laughs> okay. All right, maybe next week we'll talk about that. Stossel wants to banish all regulations. Not all, just most. Just most. When we come right back, is it